Okay, last day here in uh, in Wales on this field course, and this is a brief tutorial on how to do mark release recapture for A-level standard for mobile populations. I'm going to show you this. We did it with crabs with champion fishermen Ben and Connor. Enjoy. It's still quite your wet. Your, it doesn't look um, well, does it? I pinched me. <laughs> Don't you pinch me again, Ross? I mean, it's kind of in their job description. Yeah, I guess. Lovely marked crab. Mine's got no legs. <laughs> okay, mark release recapture. Quick tutorial. This is for uh, times when a quad drat will not do the job because you've got a mobile species. Depending on what the species is, you've got different trapping methods. Sometimes it's a pitfall trap, sometimes it's a longworth trap, sometimes you're just looking at DNA in, in uh, poo or in samples of skin, whatever it is. For this, we went crabbing. These are our champion crabbers. So Ben and Connor have got how many crabs is that? Six. Six crabs and one particular big one. Yeah. So what you do is you take your initial sample, that's sample number one, and you mark them all. In this case, we've marked it in a way that's non-toxic and shouldn't get them eaten. Now, can you show what your prize catch of the day, what, you, what it is you've done to mark this crab? We, Obviously, you don't want to do anything that's going to cause it to be uh, killed, so go on. We put a blue dot of nail varnish on its back, so we're going to let that dry out and then let it mix back under the pontoon. And then when he comes back up, we can see if they've been marked already. Brilliant. So in about 40 minutes to an hour, we're going to come back. We're going to do the same amount of crabbing again. And if none of them are marked, well, what it means is that either our mark washed off or there's a huge population of crabs. If we get the exact same ones back and they're all marked, well, we know that's the entire population. There's a little bit of maths called the Lincoln Index we can do in between, where basically you take the first sample, total you multiply by the second sample total and you divide by the number of marked ones in your second sample and that gives you a pretty good um, idea of how many uh, individuals are in the population there are some assumptions you need to know for your a level one that uh, you don't get any immigration or immigration you don't scare them away by marking them and you don't get new ones coming in they're not breeding that's why we're only leaving it for about 40 minutes Right, and that they will fully mix with each other. They don't get ostracized from crab society because they've got a spot on their back. If you get all that right, you'll get a good, um, a good estimation of the population. And that's how you do mark release recapture. So that's it. That's what you've got to know. You've got to know what you've got to do, what you've got to catch, what the mark has to be like, the little bit of maths called the Lincoln Index and the assumptions you're making that keep it a, a valid and useful estimate. And if you can get all that right, you can do mark release recapture for A-level. See you again.